Hey bro, I'm home. Oh. Like what you see? What the? Bulletproof undies, man. Why are they over your pants? I guess they're not undies, they're over ease? Ovaries? Ugh. Ugh. Uh, forget about that. Let's try them out. Shoot me. That is a terrible idea. I am not going to shoot you. Your videos are lame. That's hurtful. No, I see what you're doing. High Point will never sell parts kits, and you need to accept that. Welcome back to 3D Arms, your favorite food review YouTube channel. And today we have something special. Blue Raspberry Kool-Aid. Ah, that's delicious. If you want to know where you can get this shirt. This shirt? This shirt? That I now need to put in the laundry. Check out badattitudedepartment.com. So let's talk about 22 targets. You might think shooting 22 is kind of boring, but what if the problem was actually just your targets. Now, your options aren't gonna be as good as it would be with 50 BMG, where you could shoot a cardboard box and it'll explode. Or 5.56, where you can shoot Tannerite taped to gasoline. But there's still a lot of really cool options. You could shoot a can of spray paint on fire. You could shoot a delicious beverage. That would be a waste, so let's shoot something disgusting. There's spinner targets, steel, and regular water bottles. You could shoot glass bottles, but leaving broken glass at the range is irresponsible. Now we all know that you can't shoot Tannerite with 22, but what if there was another binary target that you could set off with 22? Let's look at that. Today on 3D Arms, we're doing science. And so here we have science liquid. Science powder. Together, these two make fire. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. You put the science powder in the science cup. You need a good amount of science powder. Don't skimp on the science powder. Science liquid. Give it a swirl. And now we wait for science to happen. Just like if you're in a research lab, you're going to go a long period of time thinking nothing's happening. It's just boring. You're going to test you. Nonsense. Science is like that. You've got to be a safe distance. You've got to figure out where I could. Sometimes science is like this. You ready? This is science. Science. So we're going to do that but with the rest of this on a bigger scale, and we're gonna light a pile of junk on fire by shooting it in order to mix these chemicals. So, over in that wood pile, we have a bottle of science liquid and a box of science powder. And when they mix via 22, it'll ignite. Now it's important that you don't utilize any accelerants because that would not be safe. Now I think they're mixing, but I don't know. So I'm just gonna give it a little extra love. We have achieved science. <laughs> yeah. 
If you'd like something a little easier, though, you could use Charlie's Kaboom. Uh, I just found this thing on Instagram. It's these, uh, it's these like bottle caps that you put on either a soda bottle or a water bottle and use a bike pump to pump it up and it turns like any old bottle into an exploding target. And they're pretty fun. They're pretty cool. Um, I thought I was gonna like the soda caps more because you can definitely get more pressure from a soda bottle. But it turns out if you shoot it with 22, sometimes it just punctures. Whereas the thinner water bottles shatter. So here's a few other things we shot with it. It was a really good time. I found one bottle like probably 30 yards away. Now the packaging says there's no fire danger and I really wanted to prove them wrong. I thought you could probably make a really cool fireball if you fill one of these with like flour or something and have an ignition source. So I tried that. And I tried it again. And I tried it again. I just kept trying and I couldn't do it. So you win, Charlie. There is no fire danger, all right? You win. Although actually, now that I think about it, uh, I could fill one of these with gasoline and that would be super sick. I wish I would have thought of that when I was filming. If you guys would like to see that, let me know. Or if you have any other idea of things you'd like me to pressurize and set off. Maybe flammable, maybe not, doesn't matter. Uh, let me know down in the comments. Please don't say thumbtacks. As you're scrolling down there, if you'd hit the subscribe button, that'd be really cool. I'd like it. It doesn't really matter that much, but when I see that number go up, it makes me feel good. So, yeah, that, whatever you wanna do. If you wanna know more about 3D printed 22s, click on this video right here. If you'd like to get one of these shirts, go to Bad Attitude Department.